Hello and welcome friends, I'm Esther Rain Lab here uh, with another video for you. And in today's episode I will show you a few last structures I have built for this board. So let's start from the left side. As you can see there is some uh, clock tower, of course destroyed, ruined and things like that. We are still in Mordheim. Let's go to the street level. As you can see part of the building here is missing, collapsed. I just uh, like the idea of this corner quite destroyed but you still can walk around here and you have few extra levels you can play on here is some kind of flooded or destroyed basement and then a few more floors some extra space to play around and move your miniatures not only through the main street but behind the building A bit more from the front. And here we have the first part of this building. I mean, it's just a really small, tiny piece. But I decided to make this one in two pieces. First of all, it's quite long and it will be uh, hard to storage it. And I also like the idea, you can see it almost here right now, that the building collapsed a bit lower than the floor. So there is some separation between those two pieces and I think it looks quite organic. And now let's focus on the clock tower. As you can see the clock is still missing. I'm working on it. I will add it in post-production, maybe after painting. Let's see. Buildings like that, especially such a high ones, are in two pieces or even more sometimes. And of course it's for ease of storage and also, maybe in the future it can be replaced by some other piece <coughs> in a main structure. I need to 3D print some uh, windows there, but everything with time. And one more time, just uh, this gap between two pieces, as you can see, I mentioned it before. And uh, just the ground floor. There is some basement. We will have a better look on it uh, from the other side when I will turn the board around. And some cable for the light that is still not there. That's also something uh, I will take care of when uh, the board is painted. And here you have another building, one that is standing right close to the temple. To be honest, I had some problems with this one. I was just not sure uh, how to approach that. On the right, uh, it's supposed to be a tower, but the same as with the building on the left, uh, I decided to keep it kind of... Uh, not so high. And the basement. No surprise here, the piece is removable, not the big one. The main entrance to the temple. Some extra stairs. can see some cables waiting for the lights to be installed, but as I mentioned before, it will come later. And then the main structure of the temple. And some small roof.
let's have a closer look uh, from the other side. I was forced to move the table around, it's just it's not possible for me to walk around it. We have this small destroyed tower. This is supposed to be some taller building, but uh, in fact uh, I didn't want to build anything taller because it would abstract hand from getting to this temple courtyard. The same with the building on the right. When I was testing it, anything higher than that would just make accessing the space in front of the temple just just a nightmare. So uh, that's some kind of compromise between what I planned and what is here right now. But I'm still quite happy with the results. And uh, the temple itself I have added some small uh, collapsed entrance on the left, of course you need to climb there, but there's another entry point. The same on the right, so it's not extremely defendable spot. And here we have a light, it's just a regular switch and I placed a cork piece on it, it's turning the lights in front. There are some cutbox here, as you can see, and then leftovers of the second floor platform. And that's basically how you're getting to the top floor. There was not enough space here to make some staircase or things like that, so you basically need to climb and then walk on those stones to the top. So just to give you some insight here, it's a temple of Myrmidia, so I was really trying to work on it in a way that it, uh, it will resemble a, a, some kind of castle or a more castle-ish structure than a, let's say a regular temple so it's like a, a mishmash of temple and something looking more like a tower castle things like that and the top part is removable as you can see with some magnets and a piece of metal and then the main uh, body of the temple It's also removable, as you can see. It's also attached by magnets and some pieces of metal. It's quite heavy piece, so the magnets were not uh, not enough. I, I made some kind of, a, as you can see here, like a grooved space. So uh, even though magnets are holding everything in place, the the piece can't move sideways. It's kind of locked. and the main floor of the temple as you can see also battery space here for powering two lanterns in the front And then we have another piece, something I started with. Totally destroyed upper floors. This one took me like almost n no time to build and I think it's, it's cool to have uh, such a difference, an option to, to change it and just play in different environment here. Yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. As I mentioned before, those pieces are attached with magnets, but then there is also this kind of like a double edge. And then piece kind of uh, sliding into the groove. I mean, still can be flipped over but I mean it requires uh, much more power uh, to do that so the hopefully random kind of uh, push will not uh, move it around at least that's the plan mm -hmm. 
and a building on the right here. Yeah, had the same situation as with the tower. I had a small issue how to approach it. And the small basement, the entrance and then unfinished doors, still need to put some uh, wood there, leading somewhere deep into the ground. And the entrance I was showing you before there. It's a big piece covering the connection point between two tiles. As before, I just I wanted to hide those spots as much as possible. There was also a space for the batteries for the ground levels and yeah this house is just something between being totally destroyed and just half standing structure and here is the clock tower from the other side as you can see I mean, it's it's quite finished some wood and destroyed floors leading down probably i will add one floor in the in the middle there and as I mentioned before, uh, this whole building uh, was constructed uh, in a way that you can uh, sneak through the underground levels up and then to the tower and maybe through some catwalk straight to the temple square out of the site. So not main street, but uh, some uh, sneaky way around it. And then the basement, two entry points, one from the top and one from the right. There are some spots for the lights post-production time for that and then one more time back to the corner we started from and that's basically it guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video signing out